the CFTC put out a, a public statement around the silver markets and you're keeping a close eye on that. Can you follow up uh, on what the CFTC may be doing uh, in regards to this rise of retail participation, making sure that you know these important vehicles that we talk about, futures and options, are, are, are accessible to the retail participants, but also with the proper risk disclosures and the proper um, you know, oversight um, of those products. So give us some thoughts on how this phenomena is impacting the CFTC. Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcadia Economics on another exciting day in the silver market. And that's without even looking at the price. Some days I wake up, just thank my lucky stars. Uh, created a business on commenting on the silver market, which is quite intriguing because there's a lot of unusual things happening. And I, I promise I, this is how it happened. Believe it or not, just uh, Wednesday night, there we were on April 14th, uh, you know, such a significant day in history, that April 14th, that we got this thing launched along with the silver integrity, silver industry integrity committee, and also this uh, GoFundMe to hold the CFTC accountable to its oath that, you know, it's pledged on. And a lot of these silver questions that, I mean, I get the emails, I see the comments on the videos, I've had the conversations, my phone seems like it's smoking sometimes. Um, but obviously, I don't have the agency's subpoena power. I mean, I was able to get former Commissioner Bart Chilton to reveal a lot of the things that the agency has not commented on publicly. But anyway, we created that. And uh, I was telling people how I'm going to the CFTC, their area, you know, I'm going to say respectful and, you know, proper and uh, not go commando like those uh, guards that removed the barricades by the Capitol building on January 6th. I don't condone anything like that don't own a gun. I don't want to own a gun, but I will be in Washington, April 20th. Uh, there's a chance. Um, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can call my friend Ben and get a tour of the fed on, Fe on April 19th. I mean, maybe I'm getting a little greedy now, who knows, but uh, check out the white house, what all these troops I hear that are hanging out there are doing. So Anyway, ironically enough, right as this happens, not only did I get an email from the CFTC yesterday, and then uh, my partner Yara, who I guess had contacted them about 10 weeks ago, they even called her, uh, which was like, wow, this like the signs are just aligning. But actually, that, well, let's take a step back because when I woke up yesterday, uh, before eating breakfast, I know I have weird hobbies, but I was wondering, uh, Somehow I ended up searching on YouTube and saw a clip with CFTC Commissioner Rostin Benham, who had launched the agency's investigation into silver on February 1st, the day before one of the greatest felonies in the silver industry, which, <laughs> let's be honest, there's some competition on that one. But would you go figure that apparently all this time I'm thinking, all right, here people can pledge money so we can finally get some comment out of this agency and get some answers to some of these questions. Well, hey, when my research is sloppy, I will admit it because it turns out that on March 18th, Ross actually commented on the investigation there. So you may not have seen it, it only has 90 views and I've watched it about 12 times so far because I'm a little bit stunned. But um, anyway, well, let me play the clip and then we can see whether it's worth it to still take the trip. So this is the fireside chat at the Boca, <laughs> Boca International Futures Industry Conference. Oh my God, how was I not, in how was I not invited to this one? Well, I'm going to build up my resume one day, one day. Uh, actually, I do have a call to the CME later today, so maybe I'll. If I can get invited to next year's. Well, I do want to come back to sustainability later in our conversation, but I did want to turn to another issue that is getting a lot of tension, especially in the equities market. The sustainability part, we're not going to cover that today, but it, it, it was sensational. It's 
and that's the rise of the retail uh, trader and investor. Um, you know, we had uh, you know several weeks back, you know, certain stocks being um, you know the darlings of the retail community and driving up prices, um, really sort of pitting retail participants against some of the institutional buyers. We're confused already, retail. The whole market's supposed to be the banks are serving the clients, but we'll uh, stay focused. These markets and the CFTC put out a, a public statement around the silver markets and you're keeping a close eye on that. Can you follow up uh, on what the CFTC may be doing uh, in regards to this rise of retail participation, making sure that you know these important vehicles that we talk about, futures and options, are, are, are accessible to the retail participants, but also with the proper risk disclosures and the proper um, you know, oversight um, of those products. So give us some thoughts on how this phenomena is impacting the CFTC. Yeah, thanks, Paul. It's a, it's a great question. Uh, it's something that I've been thinking about and you know, the, the events around the silver markets happened you know, shortly after I took over, uh, you know, I think in late January. And I think it's important to distinguish what an equity space with what happened in, in our markets in the future space, specifically with the, uh, the silver contract. And in many respects, um, the resiliency and the market structure of uh, the futures market really were able to tamp down um, what could have been a much worse situation in the silver markets. And just pointing to a couple things. Tamp down what could have been a much worse situation in the silver market? What does that mean? And in many respects, um, the resiliency and the market structure of uh, the futures market really were able to tamp down um, what could have been a much worse situation. In the 